Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lanyel Kuzar, and I'm the owner of Yes Event Decor and More. So today I have an event that I'm helping to decorate. I'm actually working with another vendor on this event. So they're gonna provide the marquee letters and then I'm gonna be doing the balloon garlands that are gonna go on the marquee letters, okay? And I'm kind of nervous because I've never done this before. So I wanted to bring you guys along with me so you could see how they turn out. All right, so let's get started. The first thing that I need to do is double stuff my balloons, okay? I'm gonna show you the picture that the client sent me. All right, here's the picture that they sent me as an inspirational photo. And when I looked at the picture, I realized that I was going to have to double stuff those red balloons because they're kind of like a maroon color, right? It's like a red, but a dark red. And I knew that I was not going to get balloons in that exact color. So what I'm going to be doing is using a red balloon, but I'm going to double stuff it with a black balloon. Okay, so I'm going to put the red on top of the black. And I don't know how you guys double stuff your balloons. I normally don't double stuff my balloons, so this is new to me. I'm just gonna be using a pencil, an unsharpened pencil, to double stuff mine. But if you guys have any tips, please feel free to let me know in the comments. How, what do you use to double stuff your balloons? So I just finished blowing up all my balloons and oh my gosh, I love this color palette. Look at these colors together. And I think the red is pretty close to what was in that picture. And I know someone is going to ask me, I did not count the balloons as I was blowing them up. In these setup videos, I don't have the time to count as I go. There's too much going on. I'm sorry. I don't know how many balloons that I used, okay? But I'll be sure to put the links to the balloons and these balloon colors in the description of the video, all right? So now what I'm gonna do is pack these balloons into bags. I'm not gonna string them together because again, this is my first time adding balloons to marquee numbers. I'm just gonna wait until they set up the marquee numbers so I can see how tall they are and how tall I'll need the balloons to be. And then I'll string them together with my 260s. But for right now, I'm just gonna put these clusters in my bags I'm going to load up my van and then get to my event, okay? I am so nervous. <laughs> I am so nervous. I hope this comes out nice.
was my event those balloon garlands was smaller than what I'm normally used to and I don't know why but I struggle with smaller balloon garlands it's harder for me to shape them okay so I'm not sure if you guys noticed but I was struggling with shaping the balloon garlands because I wanted them to have like a nice round shape on the ends of the marquee letters. It's much harder than what it looks like because the marquee letters get hot. So the balloon should really be on the sides and in back of the marquee letters. You don't want the balloons to be in front. I made sure that I asked them where to place the balloons. So they told me don't put them in front because the front gets hot. So it was harder for me to shape the balloon garlands. Now, let's get into the lessons learned for this event because of course, I have a few for you guys. So the first lesson learned with this event is that I really loved the colors of that balloon garland, okay? For a long time, I didn't really like double stuffing the balloons, but I can see why people do it now because sometimes you need to create a color that will go with the color palette, okay? So what I have learned from this event is not to be against double stuffing. And if I need to, I'm gonna start double stuffing my balloons and charging my clients to make sure that my colors are blending beautifully, okay? So I'm gonna be updating my pricing to add double stuffing onto there, all right? The second lesson learned with this event is to always ask your client, whoever is booking you, whose event is it, okay? So my client who booked me for the balloons, it wasn't her event. I thought it was her event, her and her husband, or her and someone that she knew, because she booked me for the balloons, and then some other guy booked the marquee letters, okay? But the day of the event, she sent me this guy's name and a number, and she said, oh, this is his event, and he's throwing this event for him and his wife. And so I was like, huh? <laughs> So I was completely thrown off by that. Normally, when I have clients who are booking an event, they'll tell me that the event is for someone else and they're just paying for it, right? But she didn't tell me that. So my client didn't let me know until the day of the event that it wasn't her event and she wasn't even gonna be there. So going forward, I'm always gonna ask whose event it is because I wanna coordinate with that person. When I got to the event, the colors were slightly different than the balloon colors that I had brought to the event. It was actually supposed to be red, gray, or red, silver, and gold. And I did red, white, sand, and gold. So going forward, I'm gonna ask whose event it is, and if my client is not going to be there, I'm gonna be asking for their information so I can coordinate with the person who's actually throwing the event. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know, and I'll see you in my next video.